Hi Sagittarius. Okay, so we have the Two of Pentacles, we have the Wheel of Fortune, and we have the Two of Cups. So we have a couple of twos. So the Two of Pentacles, interesting that they have the word here of change, but as you can see in the illustration, this figure is juggling and is holding a, a black disc perhaps, perhaps in a white disc, the balance between yin and yang. And uh, it's all of us trying to find balance within our life and trying to keep it together. You know, the things that we have to do during the day, during the week, for the month, with respect to our jobs, our families, our friends, our loved ones, our marriages, our partners. And so it uh, can be tiring, it can be exhausting, and it takes some skill to stay in balance. So you may have to you know, work with your own energy of where you're going to put it in order to get in balance. But when I see the Two of Pentacles, I see that uh, perhaps there's a lot going on for you on Sunday. You have a busy day. You have things popping and uh, Two of Pentacles, you know, it's, it's about uh, really finding the balance and, and juggling everything within your life. You may have to make decisions that impact one or two areas that you're dealing with right now. And so whether it's, uh, you know, smooth sailing or, or challenging times, uh, everyone has to try to keep the balance. And often with Two of Pentacles, it makes me think about balancing finances and thinking about spending, thinking about your energy and your, you know, the, the resources of you, of your time and your energy. Because when you do too much, uh, if you're too busy, then you run the risk of exhaustion and getting stressed out. So it's important for Sunday to think about how to incorporate more balance into your day and perhaps in the following week as well. So we have the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana, and this Wheel of Fortune, you know, the Wheel of Life is always spinning, always in movement. Uh, events come in and out of our daily existence, de existence. and whether things are going well for you, that's great. You know, the wheel of fortune is smiling on you. But sometimes the wheel turns suddenly and without notice. And it's a matter of how we react to those changes that we face and that happen to us. Uh, but often this suggests things, again, are busy, things are in motion, things are moving. You may have a decision to make coming up soon. You may have some type of change that's coming into your life that you're going to have to consider, that you have to think about. And here it's interesting, the, the change here, well, the change could be coming in through this wheel of fortune, which is really the wheel of life. Not only are we on that wheel, but it's the greater wheel of the world and uh, divine timing and divine events. So again, I, I would say uh, live each day, do what you can do to stay in balance and to be mindful of its, hey, be thankful for a great day because <laughs> things can change in a moment. And I think when you have that, per, that uh, perspective, it's helpful. And then a beautiful card, the Two of Cups, love. And perhaps the change and the, and the events that are going to happen are related to your love life, to your deep bonds with others. The Two of Cups is a card of union. It's a card of unity, of people finding each other, of this emotional commitment and deep bond, of happiness and 
really knowing each other. There's, I think, a real sense of depth here with the Two of Cups. It's the opportunity for a great love relationship, and whether it's platonic or whether it's uh, intimate, you know, still a, a, a great emotional connection. So finding the balance within your life and allowing changes and to deal with change as it happens and as good change happens as well with the Wheel of Fortune. You know, the Wheel of Fortune could be telling you that you're going to make a connection that is significant, that's going to bring you joy, going to bring you happiness and the potential for a wonderful partnership. So the Two of Pentacles, Two of Cups, we have a couple of twos today and twos often deal with decisions having to make a decision among two different choices or several choices perhaps. But a favorable reading for Sunday. You know, if you're in a relationship, if you're married, this can be deepening and strengthening your bond. But to bring love into the uh, uh, equation is really Wonderful because we can have love in so many different ways with our friends, with our family, with our children, uh, you know, our partners. So it's fantastic. So let's take a look at the numbers. We have 2 and 10 is 12 and 2 is 14 and 14 reduces to 5. 5 is about new cycles. It's about finding freedom. It can be about adjustments, and so if we have chain, we change, we might have to adjust our daily routines. We might have to adjust how we think. Can be challenges in some instances. And uh, let's get a little more information from the Oracle cards today. nurture. So a, a wonderful message to nurture. And the nurture really does complement two of pentacles, which is you take energy and your effort to juggle, to make things work for you in your life, to put the puzzle pieces in the right places so that you feel good and so that you feel accomplished. And when we do that, we are exerting our own energy. So nurture, take care of yourself, spend time in nature, treat yourself well, allow yourself to rest and work rest into your, uh, you know, your routine to help build the balance. And nurture can also be uh, nurturing the love among friends. It takes equal effort and it takes kindness and uh, it takes someone to be proactive in a relationship to really, uh, instead of waiting for things to happen to you, do something, you know, say something kind, make an offer, uh, offer to help. But nurturing is a powerful word that sometimes I think we lose sight of. So nurture yourself. Nurture your friends, your loved ones, and your family. I hope you found something helpful here today. If you did, please subscribe, like, share, comment, and come back tomorrow for another reading. Take care. Bye-bye.